Hey guys, welcome to my video on the Acronym Serial RCD Backpack. I developed this board for Liam at Acronym Industries. Liam came up with the idea and then my job was to totally design the entire product start to finish. So that involved designing both the circuit board that you see here and also the firmware running on this chip here. Uh, it's totally brand new and it's uh, the whole purpose of it is to replace the existing serial backpacks on the market. There's a number of them, most of which are expensive and some of which are actually hard to get. For example, the Mailtron Mailtronics one. It's both expensive and it's hard to get. Now this unit is designed to be cheap and easy to assemble and that is the reason why I've used all through whole parts. Um, the various features on the board, we've got a reset button here which I'll go into detail later. We've got a header here which is what you plug your LCD into. We have the firmware chip itself and a couple of supporting parts for that firmware chip. Uh, the, another interesting feature is the backlight control. We have used a transistor and a current set resistor for the backlight so if you have an LCD which requires a lot more backlight current such as 200 milliamps on one of the larger LCDs that I have you simply change this resistor here and the transistor can switch up to 800 milliamps. Another cool feature that we added that I like a lot is the tactile buttons here. They have a pull-up resistor and the value is output on these three extra pins here which you can interface with your microcontroller. You might use that for a menu system, up, down and enter. Uh, we also have a contrast adjust for adjusting the contrast for different LCDs and applications. And lastly, a header here. This has the three pins for the buttons, it has plus and minus and it also has a serial a serial bus just here. Here is the uh, some text displayed on the LCD. Uh, the serial firmware chip that I've created takes in this data from the serial port and converts it into the parallel needed to talk to one of these LCDs, which is why it has 16 pins. It has an 8-bit uh, parallel bus, although in my case I've used the 4-bit version. Now we've got a number of different controls, such as turning the backlight off, which I can do over the serial board and this does not require any extra pins from the microcontroller so it, almost all aspects of it can be controlled over the serial port so I'm turning the backlight back on um, I have not implemented any kind of pulse width modulation brightness adjustment for this uh, I guess there's a possibility I just haven't done that I I'm not sure how useful that actually is anyway uh, we are able to clear the screen very simply with a simple command and uh, for the purposes of this demonstration I'm using what's called a bus pirate. This simulates a lot of different serial protocols such as UART, I2C or SPI and is made by a company called Dangerous Prototypes. So on the computer I have a serial terminal and it, with that serial terminal I can write information that comes to this LCD basically simulating a pickaxe and I will write some more text back to the screen now you use a very simple number of different commands for uh, you can't read that at all actually uh, such as using the at symbol as used in email to send text and using a hash symbol uh, to send different commands and that is followed, the hash commands are followed by a number and then any attributes that that command has such as for the backlight you 1 or 0 for turning it on and off uh, hash 0 is a command for setting the x and y position on the screen and then you send the x and the y position and lastly you send a line feed character also known as the decimal character 10 now the last important feature would definitely have to be this reset button here now if you're in a classroom and one of your children has messed with the board rate of the LCD so you can no longer talk to it. Uh, first off you need to turn the power off to the board and then while holding down this button which is very difficult when holding a camera you need to hold down this button and then press the enter key well, you need to set, uh, power cycle the, the actual LCD and you'll see on the screen there it says no you can't see actually it says board 2400 that means the board has been reset to its default value of 2400 so by power cycling it when holding down that button you are able to 
actually reset the board rate which is stored in EEPROM each time you reset so using a command you can change the board rate and then it's stored to EEPROM so each time you use it it stores now I'll turn the backlight back on like so and you can see the text there now if I clear the screen I can clear the screen and then by pushing this button again while the LCD is running without power cycling the, the current selected bore rate will come up on the screen so if you're not having a board error or anything you can actually just leave the LCD running it'll automatically clear the screen and just show you that when you push the button so you can see what board rate is actually selected so that was my demonstration of the various parts of the LCD backpack board I have here and I hope that covers everything you need to know cheers